Hello everyone, my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Group Boss, which is a Chrome extension that works along with your Facebook group. So what it does, it lets you capture the emails and questions that you've asked for when someone wants to join your group. Now, if you're not taking advantage of this feature on Facebook, you really should. Now, what it does is that I can, as an admin, ask for questions when someone wants to join my group. So I can ask... Um, any question like um, how did you find us um, can you give us your email so on and so forth and I'm gonna show you how that works so you can see how group boss is a really good option for you now before we get started just let me show you this is our page group boss and if you guys want to grab a great deal that's going on I have a special offer in the link that I have in the description so check it out and what it does it lets you install group boss right here so I have the extension right here and it gives me an interface where I have all the leads I've captured. Now I'm actually gonna show you how to set up your Facebook group for questions and I'm also gonna show you how it actually captures these leads. So this is the spread the Google Sheets that it's entered to and I can have it sent to the Google Sheets and also to my email provider like MailChimp. So this is the information that you're gonna capture. This information on top, the number one, is auto filled so by group boss so what it does is group name profile id question one question two and three member name member since and profile earl now how are we going to get this information so how are we going to extract the email well in your facebook group you should head on over to right here more then head on over to edit group settings let's go to that and in the bottom you're gonna see right here membership requests so you can ask a question so if someone wants to join your group they have to answer these questions now they can be optional or you can make them like hey you know what I won't accept you if you don't give me this information so in this case I'm asking hey how did you find about us all right any keywords you typed in or who recommended to you all right so that's the questions and then I ask please enter your email if you would like to receive deal alerts now I also said it's optional and I said I hate uh, spam so I'm giving them like an open thing and telling them hey you know what I'm not going to spam you just provide your email and I'll send you hey you know what once every two weeks every two months whatever and I'll, and I'll send an email so this is how it works all right this is how you set it up now give me a second I'm a login I'm a log out on my account I'm a login to another one and I'm actually going to sign up to show you how this is this looks on the user's end all right so I'm in, I'm in another account and I already did a search for my group, SAS Master, and this is the group. So you know what? I want to join. So I'll click join and this is a profile and it's going to ask me the two questions that I asked. So it's going to say, hey, how did you find us? So in this case, I'll say uh, suggested, all right? And then right here, please enter your email address, so on and so forth. So in this case, whoops, sorry, I'll put my email right here and I'll put send. If you have more questions, you got three questions, then you can sit there, send, all right? So there we go, so it's telling me I gotta wait for someone to accept me. So give me a second, change an account again. All right, so now I'm back here as the admin in my group, and you can see right here we have a special button that popped up since we have set up the group boss right here. So I don't have to touch that anymore, the Chrome extension, once I set it up, and I'll show you how to set that up in a minute. So it's already set up. So once I'm here, I got this approve all by group boss or approved by group boss. So if I just if I have multiple ones and I want to set one by one, I click here. If I want to do all, then I click them right here. Since I only have one right now, I'll click approve by group boss. All right. So I did that. Boom. Now what's going to happen over here? Did you see how that updated? So it sent the information to my Google Sheet automatically so now i have the information so this is a group and if i had multiple groups set up in group boss it would change the group name here or set up a different spreadsheet so i go group id you got the question number one so the answer was suggested remember and the question number two was can you provide us the email so it's right here and i don't have a question number th three and if i did i'd have the answer right here uh, the member's name members since and their profile Earl so it's pretty cool that you got all this information also besides just the email so you got this right here and what's going to happen on the group boss dashboard let me refresh this we had one lead on this account now it's two leads and you're gonna have a spreadsheet here of information of leads captured and all that now let's head on over to the actual dashboard of this group so we have 
the answers right here also in the spreadsheet but you have it here now things that you can do with group boss besides just interacting the email so you can create a facebook uh, custom and lookalike audience so that means you can create your own facebook for ads audience with this information right you can select the date range and you can download a csv so you have comma separated values so you got the csv right here that you can download and put that in your email provider if you want to do that now simple question how do we set up group boss so if i click right here in this case i have a group list right here so it's this one it's already added and it's not much sense science to it so it's really easy to set up you select the group once you're in it if you're admin of it um, you add your google sheets so what you're going to do is you're going to create a brand new sheet you're going to name it whatever you want click on share and in share you're going to say hey you can edit also and copy the shared link and that link you will put it right here so it's easy and straightforward once to get this set up and if you want to do the autoresponder, you have these options available right now. So it's MailChimp and an active campaign. So you can add that. What it's going to do is going to act. It's going to ask for your API. Now, if, if these are not the ones you are using, well, just use the CSV sheet that you're going to grab over here on the dashboard. Just grab the CSV and put it in your email campaign provider. So easy as that. Or use your Zapier. If you have Zapier, uh, grab these, grab this information and auto put it in your email campaign. So it's pretty easy and straightforward to use group boss and like i said if you are not taking advantage of this uh tool from facebook then you really should and get group boss to make everything go smooth if not you have to do everything manually right so you got to open the link for the user copy that link you gotta copy the email and put it in your own spreadsheet or your email provider so you have to do everything manually and at the end of the day um, the time safe that you're going to do with group boss is going to it's going to be like worth it okay so there you go guys that is group boss and if you want to guys if you want to grab the deal check out the link in the description thank you for watching my name is george and this is sas master